Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So we've talked about virtual machines before, and that's essentially like running an operating system inside another operating system. And the advantage of virtual machines is that you can basically boot into several versions of Windows from within one version of Windows, or uh, Mac OS X. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you can run Windows, almost like it was native on the Mac desktop through a virtual machine. That's not emulation, by the way. It's, it's accessing the hardware directly, which makes it faster. So uh, what I've got pulled up here is Windows 8. I've got Windows 8 running on uh, my uh, iPad. Well, not directly, but through the uh, Parallels virtual machine uh, software that is available on iPad. I can easily switch over and uh, run the Chrome OS, which is currently suspended. I can press play and uh, use Chrome OS on uh, my mm -hmm. iPad as well. You can probably hear the computer, did you hear it go doo-doo? It was waking up. I can launch Windows 7. I have a virtual machine of Windows 7 installed on my Mac, too. Uh, if you have not tried Parallels uh, to yet, I tell you, the number one reason to try Parallels is because uh, I updated it last night to the latest version so that I could run Windows 8 natively uh, on, my, uh, on, on, on the Mac. Uh, and, and it worked well. I just clicked one button and it, it downloaded it and it was done. It was so easy to install the Windows 8 Consumer Preview directly within Parallels. It was You you can look through a million different tutorials on how to get Windows 8 installed. You may already have it installed. The safest place to install Windows 8 is in a virtual machine, whatever virtual machine software you decide to use. But Parallels makes it easy and accessible. Look, I'm running Windows 8 on my iPad right there. You don't have to wait. It's right here. You don't have to wait. It's Windows 8. Uh, and I have to also uh, the, tell you, uh, not only was it easy to uh, get this thing rocking and rolling uh, like right here on the iPad, uh, but uh, right now they've got uh, the Parallels Mac Madness sale, so you can pick up a, co a copy of Parallels Desktop 7. We've got the link right now in the uh, video's description for 25% off, or upgrade your existing copy of Parallels, uh, or Parallels 6, uh, I'd assume, at 49% off. So uh, if you didn't have the latest version and you're wondering why should I get the latest version for Mac? Well, because they make it easier for you to play around with Windows 8. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm playing around with Windows 8. Look at that. Oh, I'm pointing, clicking, and popping, doing all that stuff. And You know, the one thing that's annoying me about the uh, Windows 8 Consumer Preview is currently the back button doesn't work. And I've, I've tried it on every consumer uh, preview machine that I'd seen in person, the one at the Microsoft Store and beyond. Uh, but if I go back here, uh, Windows 7 is currently suspended. I can press play and start running inside of Windows 7 in case I need to flip back and forth. It is pretty nice. So uh, I've got the machine running, the physical machine here, the virtual machine here, and Windows 8 there uh, to boot. So that is how I am trying Windows 8 uh, in my experience to this point. Still has been positive, uh, but I got to tell you some observations about uh, Windows 8 um, through uh, the Parallels system. It has been easy. As easy as it possibly could be. Uh, 8, as I thought before, was op has been optimized for touch. If you don't have a touch computer, Windows 8 is probably going to annoy you. Um, just going to say it. Uh, not only that, but for people who would argue that Macs and, and Mac OS X makes them feel dumb, or that, they, that Apple dumbed down the operating system, wait until you try Windows 8. Because if you believe that Apple made Mac OS X or OS X dumb and simple, I'd really like to hear what you have to say about Windows 8. Because I would say they've Microsoft has dumbed Windows down even further than you could expect any OS could be dumbed down. That being said, it's still very, very powerful. Uh, you know, you've got an easy way of installing apps, managing apps, searching for apps, doing everything you'd want to do on a computer. Running programs, applications, whatever you call them, okay? Uh, Windows 8 is just different. Really, it's... Think of it kind of like a Windows Phone 7 experience on the desktop. And hopefully you have a touch screen computer or you're in a touch screen environment uh, because if you're not, it's going to frustrate you. Um, if you're upgrading or thinking of upgrading to Windows 8, thinking it's going to be just like Windows 7 but better, uh, yeah, no, um... It's good, uh, certainly in a better position than Vista was, but I, I think fewer consumers will adopt Windows 8 if it remains in its current state. If you want to play with it, my recommendation is put it on a spare PC, or if you have a Mac, run it on Parallels, because they, they made it point-click simple.
They said, here, do you want to download the consumer experience? Yes, click, 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 done. I didn't even have to use the keyboard. It, I was done. It was that simple. Uh, so now that they have it on sale, uh, and, and now that you know you could run those other OSs from within Parallels with a great degree of ease, check it out. Parallels has quickly become my favorite virtual machine, and I'm not just saying that because we've worked with them directly in the past, uh, but because, really, it's full-featured and it's simple.